You'll see him in a second. I don't want to blind him. Just dim the lights, put it on white. Look at that. Look at the size of him. Put my hand a little bit closer. Absolutely epic. White lip tree frog. Big old white lip. A massive animal. Like a lot bigger than your normal green tree frogs. Excellent. Try and get a better, better view. There we go. How good. It's just chilling. Chilling up here on the railing out to the, uh, the bird hide. Beautiful colours. And yeah, look how prominent that white lip is. You can tell straight away what it is. But a massive animal. I'm just super impressed at the size, really, of this guy. So the torch is on its like lowest setting, but it's still putting a lot of glare on that, that frog. So it's just like a real sort of, just a touch, touch darker than a lime green. Not, and it's, he looks like he's got really porous, like a really bumpy skin. Like your green tree frogs look actually really smooth. Whereas these guys, I don't know if it'll be able to get picked up on the GoPro. Whoop. But really, really bumpy like skin to him. Looks like it'd be a bit like, yeah, rough. Sort of like your really low grit sandpaper if you were to touch him. But the green tree frog is really smooth. Oh, don't want him to jump off, get too freaked out. But um, wicked start to the night, or wicked first animal to see. That is a new species that I've not seen here before. I don't want him to, yeah, don't want to stuff him around if he's, or her is trying to hunt. I'll leave him to it. Get back on high beams. Sweet. So yeah, wicked first animal to see. Well, pretty happy with that. Oh, and that rustling was just that frog absolutely launching. Oh, it's down on the ground now. There you go. But it got a fair distance from here. I don't know if you can see all the way down there. But massive frog, massive legs and whatnot beauty so pretty happy with that pretty happy to already have seen something let's find animal number two alrighty guys walking along this strip here and look at that perfect view of Boiga irregularis the brown tree snake get a better view underneath here we go so you can see where they get their name some localities have excellent stripes going on and so you can see where they get their nickname, the Night Tiger, because they're a nocturnal species and they have some excellent stripes in some localities. Where's your little face going? There it is. So this is such an epic species. I absolutely love them. Still my first ones in the Northern Territory. There you go. Absolutely epic species. So what I love most about them is their eyes. You can see them right there. So big dull eyes on such a, a like a bulky triangular head and then as soon as you get to their neck it is skinny as oops, sorry, 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 skinny as anything. There you go. Startled him a bit. I let him do his thing. I don't wanna don't wanna get in his way and handle him too much, freak him out. But there you go, look at that. So well adapted to the trees. Just cruising right through. Excellent. So these guys rear fanged. Mildly venomous, so they're not like your uh, your lapids, your front fang venomous, like your browns and that kind of stuff. Even though browns are really venomous, you have got less venomous front fang snakes. But these guys really have to have a munch on you, and that's if you're getting in their way and picking them up and that kind of thing. Excellent. Alrighty, look at this, the scrub python. North Queensland's largest python species, largest in Australia for that matter. So this guy is only a little, little baby. I'll try and get a, a look well, for you guys of how big he actually is. There's my hand, pretty small little fella. And yet this thing is gonna grow into the longest Australian species of python. How beautiful. I don't know if it's picking up that iridescent sheen but uh, the scrub python or amistine python. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the head. Ah, beautiful, beautiful snake. This is fantastic. Oh, I am just in awe. This is crazy. It's, uh, it's a little, little guy, whoops. 
little snake, but I'm still absolutely stoked to have seen this species in the wild. Oh, incredible. And this is just on the end, last species I've seen uh, at the end of a toad bust. So just gone out trying to collect some cane toads, that kind of thing, reduce the population a bit, through sure a bit of fun, herping and, and, and yeah, dropping down the cane toad population at the same time. Because if this guy went along, or water pythons, anything that's really gonna eat frogs mostly, goes along and eats a, a cane toad, it dies. Just super, super sad. So it's not gonna change the whole scheme of things. Cane toads are still absolutely wrecking native wildlife. But if this little guy or someone else survives, because I've taken one out of the little environment that they're from, then then that's that's all I need to know. I'm trying to make a difference. Doing something's better than, than nothing at all. But there you go. How good. Oh. How good, eh? Absolutely beautiful. We'll leave him to it. Absolutely stellar species. I'm oh, I'm not going crazy. I'm just in awe. It is such a wicked little snake. And probably fantastic to see such a small one as well because I'm really getting a, an appreciation which without it absolutely going off its nut or being too, too big. But otherwise we'll leave this guy to it and we'll head off. Pretty sure they're a Morelia King Horny Eye or something like that. Or they used to be Somalia or something like that. Otherwise I'll get the scientific name and, and common name up and we'll see how, how accurate I was off memory. Wicked. See a scrubby. Woo! Look at that. Now that. Whoa. <laughs> now that is Somalia. King Horny Eye. King Horn Eye. Not the double eye. Look how long that thing is. Look at this for a scrub python. So this is from a friend's property. Absolutely stellar animal. Look at that. You just wait, there's the head. As soon as it passes through that stick, I'll let it go. And you can see the absolute length of this thing. Probably, yeah, just about less than three meters. But look at it, incredible, incredible. You can see hopefully why they get their name, the Amistine Python or Amethyst Python. Absolutely amazing iridescent sheen coming off of this animal. And even if it didn't have that, just the patterning on the, on the snake is incredible. Oh, I was so stoked when I saw my first scrub python, the little baby. But this animal is just something else. Oh, and it's not even as big as they get. These animals, 5.6 I think has been the actual max recorded. And there's reports of up to eight plus meters. And this thing's about between two and a half to 2.67, almost three meters. But, oh, oh you got a bit of bad shadowing on it. But how, oh, how incredible. Look at it. Look at the length of it, how long it goes for. Oh, and so strong as well. Able to lift its body up. Oh absolute dream to see this species look at it go just as good as seeing an olive python up in the northern territory look look at this length and the beauty of that patterning and you haven't even got a good look i should have done it when i was a bit closer to its head but i want to put my hand close to its face you guys can get an idea of just how big and thick that thing's head is. And still keeping in mind that this is still, this is still a really, really small animal in comparison to how big they can get. So it's gonna be a bit awkward. Wait for him to come out the other side or it, him, her, whatever it is. Here we go. So there's the head, in comparison to my hand. Massive block head on the animals. Very similar to your uh, your brown tree snake, really. Really thick, blocky head, going into a real thin neck. And then just the length is ridiculous. 
So they do get some mass to them when they, they get really big and are really big adults. But for the most part, look at that. They are Australia's longest python species. Just real long and lanky. You get a load of that face. Beautiful face. Beautiful face. Just the eyes and the, the face and head on them is, is incredible. Oh. Incredible. How's that? What a stellar, stellar find. Incredible to see this, really. The the real jewel and gem of the northern northern Queensland region. Far north Queensland. There you go.